Now and former principal Malka Leifer has been found guilty of sexually abusing two former students during her time at an ultra-Orthodox Jewish school in Melbourne. The 56-year-old was found guilty on 18 charges, including rape, relating to sisters Ellie Sapper and Dassie Ehrlich. The jury cleared her of nine charges relating to a third sibling, Nicole Meyer. We had doubts this day would come. We sat waiting, hoping for years and to finally be here today and hear those words, guilty, there, there are no words really. We're joined by child sexual abuse advocate Manny Wax, who's worked closely with the life of survivors since 2011. Manny, we're, we're seeing a 15-year ordeal finally come to a close. Did you ever think that you'd get to this point? Firstly, it's an incredible day for justice. And you're absolutely right that the length of time it's taken and the many challenges along the way, most people did not believe that this day would actually come and it has arrived and it's a great day for justice. Well, you have been by the sisters' side most faithfully and advocating and agitating for them the whole time. How are they feeling? Look, it's a, the process that the sisters have gone through is unique and arduous. Um, I attended here 75 court hearings in Israel just to get her extradited. Um, so they, before every hearing, used to say how difficult it is, how challenging it is, um, and it's been extremely challenging until this very day. And at the same time, we need to remember that the charges in, related, in relation to one of the girls, uh, Nicole, have been found not guilty. So it is a day also tinged with a great deal of sadness because the fight that she has put up over the many years and now to walk away with not guilty uh, verdicts in relation to her case is absolutely devastating and my thoughts are certainly with her in particular. I'm just reflecting on that. You said 75 hearings in Israel. So can you give us a sense of what the sisters were going through in that period, like just how deep the whole must have seemed to them? It, the right question was in the beginning, did we ever believe that this day was going to come? Because of those 75 court hearings where Mark Alifa was essentially feigning illness, claiming to be mentally unfit to stand trial or to function, um, and I just keep on remembering going back and forth to Jerusalem District Court uh, and to uh, update the courageous sisters about what's going on over here. And before every hearing, they would you know, lose sleep uh, unable to eat and all sorts of different afflictions which are very common under these types of circumstances. It just is heartbreaking and I'm very pleased, uh, at least for the two sisters, for Dassi and Ellie, that um, they achieved some semblance of justice today. Okay, Manny, thanks for your time. Thank you all.